Now, why would Parmians be allied with humanoids? Like, why not? Is the real question. Oh, hi, guys. My orders are to regard anyone who comes here as an enemy. Prepare to fight. I'm prepared. I've been prepared since I came. Nothing you can do to stop me. All right, Ina. Pair away. No making best girl angry. Ooh, paralyzed. Nice. I love burn. Raise some fire magic. I want burn flame, like, now. I need burn flame. Here it comes. Yeah, all three. Nice. In burn flame. Yes, burn flame. Speaking into existence. I love doing that. I'm like, yo, I need this spell. And I get the spell immediately after. I love it. Oh, wow. Zero damage. It's because she's Fina. You can't, you can't beat Fina. That's like literally impossible. Good old W break right here. Should have hit the other one. Actually, you're still dead. It's fine. All right, we won. Ba bum bum. We must get to the final. We must get the final piece to him. I think we're done with waves. Yeah, now we just go to the top. There's no monsters here. We can just go straight there. So if for some reason you did miss the treasure here, I think you can collect it now. You get like a second chance. Because as you've probably been able to tell, this game has no backtracking. So that's another reason I want to get all the treasure. And that's why it's very important to me at least. Because I feel like you can't go back to the area. So in other games, you're like, eh, I'll just go back to the area later. This game has no backtracking, which you can't go back to previous areas. Like, we can never go back to Parm again or any of the other areas we've been to in the region. Like right now, we could probably go back to like misty forest but like we can't go back to new parm like new parm we can't go back to for example that's why getting all the treasure like when you're here is very important up there right isn't there like No, this is the wrong way. Luckily, I have my map still out. Oh, it is this way. Okay. I was, like, wondering. I'm, I wasn't sure. Look, Justin, the God of Light. Huh? From the air? Those creeps. They're hauling over the statue. We gotta stop them. Hauling away the statue. Wait, give that statue back. Justin, what are you doing here? Oh, you're the one who hit me back at the base. Justin, why did you come here? Ah, Fina. Sis? Is that really you? I think that's what she said. I pressed A too fast. Fina. Huh? What? Fina, you called her sis. Is this your sister, Fina? Lean, it is you. Why are you doing such a thing? Fina, I wanted you to be the last person to know about this. Fact is, I'm a Garlau soldier. Lieutenant Lean in the Mullen Division. At this time, the statue is being confiscated for a military operation, so you must stand down. Goodbye, Fina. Don't go near the forces again. I don't want you to get hurt. Lean, wait! Why are you doing this? Oh no, the God of Light! I won't let you do this! Here goes! Justin! Get back the statue, Lean. It belongs to Luck Village. Why didn't you take Fina and run away? After all the risk I took in letting you escape from the frontline base. Stop complaining and give the statue back. Sorry, I can't do that. I've gotta take the statue back. The honor of the Mullen Division is at stake. Get off of the Spirit Stone. Spirit Stone? Don't make me force you off. I can't let you foul up our plans anymore. Wait, why did you call it the Spirit Stone? Ugh, what's that? This, this light is... Oh no! Oh, Justin's dead. That light's from the Spirit Stone. Wow, so that's what happened. Oh 
part where Justin's dead. Game over. Fina's the new protagonist now. So, I am to understand that it is Justin who had the spirit stone. Yes, sir. There's no mistaking it. That light could not have got come from the statue. It was from Justin. Please, Colonel, give me one more chance. This time I won't fail. It's too late. The mist of the forest has begun to close again. But, Colonel, I could... I could get it in time. That is an order, Lieutenant. You sacrifice yourself too much. Be more cautious. Yes, Colonel Mullen. I understand. That boy, Justin. I'll get him. I'll get him myself. Ow! Ugh. Justin! Oh, hey, guys. I'm alive, it turns out. Justin, are you okay? You made such a loud noise when you fell. <laughs> I'm fine. My rear is just a little sore. But I wonder. Did I break the God of Light? Looks like most of it was taken away. I promised I would protect it. I'm afraid I'd let the village down. But they gather up the pieces. I'll help, Justin. We'll make a sincere apology to the village chief. <laughs> the village chief is not going to forgive us, I don't think. Oh, you're here, safe and sound. My, with a relief. I must apologize, chief. I tried to retrieve the statue, but as you can see, it was broken. Not even half of it remains. The god of statue is broken mess now. No, it's not. It's okay the way it is. No matter how it ended, the fact is that you fought for Luck Village. For that, you have our utmost thanks. As a thank you gift, please accept this. Ooh, a misclearing nut. Now we can go to the end of the world. Huh, really? Are you sure we can have this, chief? But chief, sir, you said that misclearing nuts are very valuable and not to be given to outsiders. For a long, long time, we've hidden behind the wall of mist in this forest, cut off from the world. However, by doing that, we've had we've not had contact with great people like you. That has not been a wise policy. Now, when I think about it, the mist has been enshrouded both Luck Village and the hearts of us villagers. We must learn to turn our eyes outward to the outside world as you do. It may take a while for us to do. By the time Ram and the other children become adults, I'm sure we'll understand. We'll come to understand outsiders. Hey, I understand them even now. Justin and I have made a friend a friend promise. Hey, Justin. Ah, uh, yes, yes, we did. My, that's good to hear, Justin. I want you and your friends to know you'll always be welcome here. So you guys are planning to cross the misty forest to the end of the world. I'll miss you guys a lot. I'll miss you too. Rem. I want to be an adventurer when I grow up, just like you guys. Man, Rem is so adorable. Justin, I promise you, I'll become an adventurer. I'll cross the misty forest and even to the end of the world. You bet, Rem. We'll be waiting for you on the other side of the end of the world. We've been shut out from this wonderful, from wonderful people such as you. This village must be more open to the world. It may take some time, but I think everyone will agree to this eventually. We'll do our best to help. We hope that we'll, you'll achieve this new goal. Justin, I want you and your new friends to know that you're, you and your friends to know that you'll always be welcomed by everyone. Perfect. We thank you deeply for protecting our God of Light. If it weren't for you, we'd Huh? But we... You're thinking, but we broke it. If it weren't for you, the whole statue would have been taken away. We have you to thank for what remains of it. We ourselves must learn more about the outside world, otherwise we'll remain helpless and dependent on others. Thank you. Thanks to you, Luck Village is still protected. We were only able to bring half of the statue back. That's alright. If it weren't for your efforts, not only not only the God of Light statue, but we would, we too would have been hurt. Now that I think about it, we should not always rely upon our God of Light for everything. Seeing how you live, I began to doubt the wisdom of this policy. Luck is unprotected by the is protected by the mist. We mustn't leave until the mist is cleared. At least that's what we thought. Has the mist been protecting us, or have we simply been hiding in it? I suspect we're guilty of the latter. Now we must seek a new way. We must find a new way to live with the mist without being dependent on it. All right, that's nice. I, I like that. That's really neat. Like you know, Lug Village kind of like they depend on a god. The towns in Grandia have a lot of, uh, especially later, we're going to see, like, the towns go through development. Like, um, the whole, oh, there's enemies here. But, um, we see, like, Luck Village relying on the god for everything, and now they're, like, learning, oh, like, you know, turns out the outside world's not too bad, like, they have to learn more about it. Really neat. Really good morality to the game. I love it. These bugs. Like Shockwave. Please get the bug. I got the bug. Oh, five enemies. Nice. Get him, Sue. Lots of XXP for that. Pretty easy, right, Puppy? 
bum bum bum. I think now we're good. We can just go to the next part of Misty Forest. Hi. I'll take you guys on. More bugs. Beetles, same difference. You guys don't get hit by magic, so para whip is a good call here. Really Sue, I'm gonna have you puppy. Actually, no, this is Justin. What am I saying? Start hitting these metal beetles. That was Justin not killing these guys with one axe attack. I don't understand. Ah, uh, not the magic block orb. Turns out they do magic block. It's fine though, because we're like... They haven't done it all that often. Even still. All right, we won. Bum, 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 bum. Are the villagers gonna be here? Rem probably has more dialogue assuming we leave. In luck, we believe that since the mist protects us, we should not venture out into the world. But the mist hasn't been hiding us. We've been hidden ourselves in the mist, but we can't do that anymore. From now on, we of luck must find a way to live in the mist, not behind the mist. Live within the mist, words. Thanks to you, all our, our village remains safe. The half of the God of Light was taken away. I think I read that. In hindsight, I guess we were wrong to ask favors of the God of Light for every little thing. After seeing you, I began to question why we do that. All right. Hey guys, thanks. My mama told me to say thanks to you. We're supposed to treat you nice because you're messengers from the God of Light. We're messengers of the God of Light? <laughs> what an exaggeration. Know what? I like you guys a whole bunch. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. You protected the God of Light. Thank you so much. I hate to think what would have happened without you. Oh, but... You broke it. Look, if it weren't for you, everything would be demolished. We have you to thank for everything that isn't destroyed. Unless we start learning about the outside world, we'll never be able to do anything on our own. Oh, it's Justin and company. Tell me, is it true you're preparing to go to the end of the world? Sure, why not? That's why we came this way. Oh, so you'll be leaving? We'll miss you, but that's the breaks. We'll pray that you have a safe trip. Oh, you must be tired, Justin. I heard you protected our god of light. Thank you for helping us. Just leave it to me. I'll do something anyway. Well, I've certainly changed my view of outsiders. I didn't know they could be so nice and kind like you. This is Rem's house. Maybe Rem has more dialogue. If he's here. Justin, we can't thank you enough for helping not just Rem, but also the entire village. Oh, please, I turn red when I hear so much praise. Uh-oh, Justin's letting it go to his head. Uh, do we, can we get another meal? I don't think we can get more meal scenes, more dinner scenes. Probably not. Uh, let's stash some stuff. Hunter's knife. I'm also gonna- Oh, did I stash the key already? I think I did. Yeah, we stashed the key. Perfect. Uh, discard these breaks. I don't need them. I don't need all these miracles either. So we're gonna stash some miracles. Hair ointment. Confusion. We'll keep one panacea just in case. One beef jerky we'll stash. Resurrect potions are important because we don't have a thing. Right, good enough, good enough. I don't remember if the- I don't think the stash area has a limit. I hope it doesn't. I don't remember. I do want this. I think that's good. Actually, you know what? Buy more of these. Buy them and then we'll keep them in the stash area. I think that's a good plan. So we have them. I mean, they're not that good, but 10 SP. I mean, any SP healing item is worth, honestly. I did not mean to stash that, but I did. Whatever. Bum, bum, bum. Alright. Let's just talk to a few more NPCs and we'll move on. 
I heard what you did for us protecting the God of Light and all. Thank you so much, Justin. I must give you something in return. A Milo Caterpillar as a tonic. Or a Black Grasshopper to avoid drowsiness. Oh, no thanks. Please don't bother. <laughs> are you leaving already? Please take your time, Justin. You are great friends to us select villagers. It's good things are back to normal. Now I can play with Rem again. I wonder what we should do next. Hmm, that Rem is such a rascal. I always have to keep an eye on him to keep him out of trouble. Since Rem's always getting into mischief, he's always a very fun and exciting person to be with. There is that. Mischievous people are the most fun, I agree. Hey, I just heard that you plan to cross over that wall on your trip. They say no one's ever been able to cross over the wall. I thought you better know that. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. If no one else has done it yet, that just means we'll be the first. <laughs> Good way of thinking. You're just bubbling over with your youthful enthusiasm. We villagers should learn from you. We shouldn't be afraid to see the world outside. Well, we'd be sure to welcome you if you decide to visit Arm. Right, Puffy? Cool. Oh, thank you for protecting the God of Light statue. Thank you very much. Now I can see why we shouldn't judge people by whether or not they have horns and a tail. You're right. People look different, but underneath they're the same. So I guess we should become friends with outsiders like we have with you. Yeah, good plan. Good plan. But the huge bird tried to hunt the God of Light. The God of Light is like a boss among those birds. My grandpa heard about that long ago. A boss among the birds? Interesting. Hmm, oh, that's a beautiful ribbon, young lady. That's the design I was after. Mind if I take a quick sketch of it? Oh, I'm so happy to have this tattoo design. I can't wait to use it. Use a ribbon? Do you mean this pet of mine? What? It's not a ribbon? Well, I must say, I've never seen such a strange animal before. It's such an exotic figure. Yes, I like it even more now. You must let me sketch it. Oh, sure. It's okay. As long as you made a nice, make a nice sketch. Okay, Puffy, hold still now. Oh, thank you. Now, thanks to Puffy there, I've got a great new design for tattoos. A Puffy tattoo, huh? Oh, how lovely it is. That's nice. Very, very neat. Talk to you already. Well done. Thank you right from the start. I thought you folks were nice people. By the way, the village chief was thinking of offering you up as a sacrifice. Such a mean guy. Wow, heartless. I just can't imagine the village chief saying something like that. Well, he was convinced that you guys were going to be the cause of the calamity. Pretty nasty guy, huh? I think I know why the God of Light favors you folks. But we luck folks stay hidden in the mist. You guys just forge ahead through the mist. I hope we'll become more like you. I'll also pray that you do not get lost in the mist as you travel onward. Please come visit our village anytime. Ow, you can't village visit previous areas, which sucks. I'll never be back here. Ever since you came to this village, the atmosphere here has changed. It used to feel so closed and secluded, but now it feels more open and alive. I wonder if this is how it was back when our people could fly. It's a very lighthearted feeling. Alright, I think we're good. I want to grow up fast and then go out into the outside world. I won't sneak away like Rem did. I'll be an adult and everyone will ask me to go with them to see the outside world. And another adventurer is born. Yeah, another adventurer. Where's Rem? Is he anywhere? 